In this tutorial, we will be learning about regression testing, which is very important topic. So let us start the topic. When I am saying regression testing, you must have understood that it is a type of testing. Now we should clearly understand why do we need it. We do regression testing to check whether any code changes that has been done on the application has not impacted the application in any way. Purpose of performing regression testing is to check or execute all the test cases which has already been executed in order to ensure that all the existing functionalities which were working fine earlier are not are working fine fine now as well after there had been code changes in the application but one very important thing to understand here is that regression testing not only includes testing of old features but it also tests new features in new build that has been incorporated in new build generally we test all the related features of application under test where code changes has been made so that code changes has not impacted the existing related features of the application but in some cases we may need to execute all of the test cases so we should understand that regression testing includes testing of old existing features as well as checking of new features that has been added to software application now that we have understood why do we need regression testing we should understand how we do regression testing regression testing is generally focused on defactorized that has been read earlier in the application due to which there had been code changes in the application in order to fix those reported defects and now after defects are fixed by development team and assigned to testing team for doing retesting or what we say regression testing then we start performing regression testing these defects are then verified by testing team to ensure that defects has properly been fixed or not so the first action item with testing team is that they need to focus first on all related features for which defect was raised and fixed and all the corresponding test cases are executed though so this is generally the approach of testing team for doing migration testing now that we have understood why we need regression testing and how we do regression testing now let us look some of the automation tools that are used for doing regression testing many of those who do not understand why automation tools are for doing regression testing they should understand that automation tools are mainly used for doing regression testing these are the situations 
there are situations where th there is frequent changes in the code which are quite which require quite frequent testing of the application which is very tedious for manual testing professionals because it not only takes too much time but also requires too much effort to test all the functionalities again and again so again and again for every code changes that has been done on the application so every time new feature is added to application or bug is fixed there are changes in application and then it is required to have good detailed testing to check whether the raised bug has been fixed or not to ensure that everything is working fine as it was working earlier and new features are also working fine but this is again daunting task when we are doing it manually but our automation tools have made these tasks easier by automating all the scenarios and all automation tools and automation tools which not only do all the required testing quickly but also lessens effort manual effort to test all the features of the application again and again so let us see some of the most popular automation tools that are being used in the market today some of them are given as below so first is selenium it is one of the most popular open source automation tool which is used for doing regression testing on web applications second is unified functional tester or quick test professional quick test professional is older name of unified functional tester so it is one of the most popular and easy to use tool for regression testing it is licensed to but it is very easy to understand and use third one is rational functional tester it is also very popular ibm tool that is used for doing regression testing now we should understand another term called retesting so whenever regression testing is done retesting is also done we should understand that so retesting is checking the functionality for which defect was raised to development team and retesting will involve only those test cases that is directly related to defect raised where as regression testing involves testing of all the related features for which defect was raised and fixed it involves execution of all the related test cases which could be impacted due to code changes one more thing that should be understood about Re retesting is that retesting generally involves testing of same functionality with multiple set of data in order to ensure that functionality is working fine without any doubt and whenever regression testing is done retesting is done so it is sometimes called regression and retesting so in this tutorial we saw what is regression testing what is supposed uh, to be done in regression testing and how regression testing is done it is very important topic that is frequently asked during testing interviews and it is very important topic so we should have clear concept of it thank you